already made the seed variety and seed trait choices for your farm, but now it comes down to what are you going to put on for seed treatment. Don't try to cut costs here. There's some great value in soybean seed treatments. We're going to talk about some of the different things you may consider for your farm. All right. Now, Darren says don't try to cut costs. Let's talk about cutting costs. What are you going to cut out of your soybean seed treatment package? Let's first talk about what are the categories. So to begin with, I'm gonna say fungicide. That's probably one of the most important things, but there's also inoculant, kind of a no-brainer, pretty inexpensive. Beyond that, you can look at insecticide. And then finally, I'd say other biological. So I really have four different things that I could potentially put on that seed. Brian started the discussion with fungicides, and I would say this, fungicides are kind of hit or miss. We don't know if it's going to be a bad year for disease or not a bad year for disease. We don't know if you're going to plant seed in the ground and all of a sudden it's going to be 85 degrees, sunny, everything's perfect and the beans jump out of the ground, or if they're going to struggle with wet feet throughout the year. The big deal is to look at what's the 10 year average and over 10 years, are you going to have problems with wet feet in your soybeans and disease? Absolutely. Make sure you protect your seed with fungicide. We would suggest using multiple modes of action to try to get the best amount of coverage for various diseases that you're going to fight. Fusarium, Rhizoctonia, Pythium, uh, Phytophthora, lots of different diseases are going to impact your crop. And if you hurt your stand right out at the beginning, it's a lot like livestock. Brian and I grew up with a cow-calf operation and a farrow to finish hog operation, and we saw if young animals were sick early, it was really hard for them to catch up. The same thing holds true with plants. If your plants are struggling early on with disease, they're just so much more susceptible to other problems happening during the season, and that results in less yield. All right, but if you want to cut costs, could you cut fungicide? Sure you could. Like Darren said, it's hit or miss. Sometimes you're gonna gain five or eight bushels, other times you're gonna gain zero. How you have a better shot at gaining more yield though, is try to pick the newer fungicides and get multiple fungicides, not just one. Insecticide is one component that we do see some farmers cutting out and I would caution you just a little bit. When we think about the insecticide on soybean seed treatments, it's a neonic. Now there's several different neonics out there and they're fairly similar in what they control. But in terms of bugs impacting your seed early in the ground and foliar with things like bean leaf beetles, we found this to be kind of a no-brainer thing where you don't have to get right back out and spray foliar for those early season insects above ground and certainly there's no rescue treatment for insects below ground. All right, if you are getting an insecticide on your seed, make sure you're talking to your seed dealer. You should be able to get some free resprays if you have to come with some insecticide post-emerge. So again, make sure you talk to your seed dealer. That could cut your costs later on. All right, the next thing you look at is inoculant. That's the one I'm going to say. I, I wouldn't cut that. I, I, I absolutely wouldn't cut that. It only costs a couple of bucks. And what we found is you might not gain tremendous yield, but for a couple bucks, you only need to gain a quarter of a bushel. Most of the time we're gaining at least that. Sometimes we gain five. All depends on the year, depends on the soil type, everything else. The other thing I would say is even if we don't gain a whole lot of yield, a lot of times we've put more nitrogen in the soil. And even if we put three more pounds in for next year, you know, that does kind of start to dollar up. It does help cut your costs in the future. One more comment on inoculants, Brian, real quick. Uh, when you think about inoculants, if you want to get more out of them, they're live bacteria. Put them on just before the seed goes in the ground. If you treat them up a month in advance, you're going to lose some of them. So if you want to get the maximum effect out of your inoculant, put it on right before you plant the seed. Last thing I'll say, other biologicals, we're huge believers in these. Now we're using heat shield and NutriCycle. Uh, so we're getting almost 30 different biologicals right there in that combination. In the past, we've done a tremendous amount of quick roots fantastic product as well. So I'd really look hard at those biologicals. My overall summary with this thing is, talk to your seed dealer. You should be able to get a package for $15 or less, or right around that $15 mark, to get all these things, to get 30, 35 different treatments, get that all, get some respray if necessary, get free treatment if you have to replant, those types of things. Work that out with your seed dealer in advance. And the last thing is seed flowability. You want to make sure that whatever combination you're putting on isn't going to cause you problems in your planter with clumping and other things. So just make sure that what you're doing is going to work for you. Well, one of the things that always seems to work is having great weed control. Can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? 